Hello everyone, this is Dee from E-Academy. Today we will look at a very useful theorem related to the interior points that tells us that a set is open if if that set is equal to the interior of that set. That is, the theorem says that a set is open. We consider the set as a subset of x that is A and it is said to be open if that set is equal to the interior of that set. Uh, this is if and only if condition that if this is given then we will prove that the set is equal to the interior of the set but if we know that a set is equal to that interior of the set itself then the set is open so let's prove it now the condition is if x and tau is a topological space and a is a subset of x then a is said to be open if if and only if for all a belongs to a which means that for all a that is a member of a for all a belongs to a there exists an upper neighborhood or we can also say that for each a belongs to a is an interior point of a that every element of of that set a is eventually the interior point of that a itself so in a compact way we can write all the statement as this a is equal to that interior point so we will prove this if we know that x and tau is a topological space a is a subset of x and a is an open set this is given that a is an open set so we will prove this that a is equal to that interior point this is our target and this is the given condition so by the definition of an open set that A is open, A belongs to the topology, which means that for every element of A, for every element of that A, there exists an open neighborhood U. That is, A is an element of capital A. There exists an open neighborhood U that contains uh, that point A. Because we know that if, if X is a topological space, and A is any random subset of, of that X and there is a point A from that set A. This A is said to be the interior of A if there exists an upper neighborhood U that contains A and is also a subset of, of that set A. In this case, upper neighborhood must also be A as well because A is also an open set so if we can say that A belongs to U, that is an upper neighborhood, that is equal to A and A is also a subset of A, which also satisfies the definition of an interior point. So we will use the definition because A is an open set. A belongs to that open neighborhood, that is a subset of A as well. As every set is a subset of itself, this is true for every member of that open set A. So, by definition of interior points, that is the union of all the upper neighborhoods of A is the interior of A. So, by using this, you would take the union of all of these A's and we know that A union, A union, A and so on to A will eventually get, uh, get us with A in the end. So, the union of all the A's, all the open neighborhoods of, of this set will give us A. So, again... By remaining the definition of the interior, that is the union of all of the upper neighborhoods of A. So the upper neighborhoods of that A are all of the A's because A are an open set. So we can write in the end as the interior of A is equal to the union of all of that of open neighborhoods that is equal to A. So we will prove this that if A is an open set, then the interior of A is, is A itself. So again, if X and tau is a topological space, A is a subset of X and A is open, which means that A belongs to that topology. And the target is, if A is open, then we have to prove that that interior of A is equal to the set A itself. If A is open, then A belongs to that topology. So for every element of A, every element of A, there exists an upper neighborhood of U such that A belongs to U and U is a subset of A. 
and in this case because a is open so we can write this definition that a belongs to u then u eventually is equal to a because a is an open and a is a subset of a because every set is a subset of itself so this is true for every member of that open set a by definition of interior point that is the union of all the open neighborhoods is equal to the interior so we're using the definition of the interior that is the union of all of the open neighborhoods of that point. So by taking the union of all of the open neighborhoods that is equal to A and we can write this as the interior of A is the union of all of the open neighborhoods that is A. So this is proved by the given condition if A is open then the interior of A is equal to A as well. Now we will prove this conversely. Now the given condition is if x and other topological space is a subset of x then the interior of a is equal to a and we have to prove that that a is open. So we will use the definition of this interior point if a belongs to that set a then every a that belongs to a is an interior of a if for each a belongs to a there exists an, an open neighborhood U open neighborhood U such that A belongs to U and U is a subset of A. This is the definition of the interior of A. So A is said to be an interior point if there exists an open neighborhood of U and U is a subset of A and contains that point A. So the given situation is A is equal to that interior point which means that if we take the union of all of that open sets, we will get that set A. So by using this definition as given, A is equal to A naught implies that that union of, of all the A's, that is A belongs to that set A, is equal to A. By using this, union of all the open neighborhoods get A. So this means that A is the union of arbitrary open sets. These are open sets and A is a union of arbitrary open sets which implies that A is also open. Union of an open set is an open. A is the interior of itself. Then we can prove that A is open by using the definition of the interior point first that if A is, is said to be an interior point and A is a, a, is a part of that set A there is an open neighborhood U that is a subset of A and contains that point A. So by using this definition, the union of all the arbitrary open neighborhoods because the interior definition says that the union of all the open neighborhoods, so this is the union of all the open neighborhoods, that is equal to A by this, that is given and the arbitrary union of, of an open sets is also open which means that A is open. So this is proved. So this is if and only if condition and we will prove the direct and the converse condition as well. This is for now if you're looking for more such videos then you can also subscribe this channel. So you can watch more upcoming videos. We will meet in the next video. Till then take care. Goodbye.